Good morning. Welcome to Thursday, March 23rd. I know. I'm a liar. I told you I wasn't going to be here today. It's just, it's ingrained. The habit is there at this point. It's just, it's there. Um, Steph got up at, at 5.45 today for work. Uh, I didn't set my alarm because I was going to sleep in. Since I had less work to do, I wasn't going to vlog today. And uh, I couldn't go back to bed. Couldn't get to bed. So we're up. We're vlogging. I've got a little uh, to-do list. You know, most of this stuff was stuff I was going to do anyways. Um, didn't need to vlog it. But we might as well. We might as well just keep it going. Stay on the consistent path. Vlog Sunday through Friday. <clears throat> Take a break on Saturday. Mixing in some Let's Cut a Yo-Yos. We're going to be mixing one in later today as soon as i decide on a time i'll let you guys know because you're gonna watch this then you're gonna go watch the let's cut a yo-yo the cable lodge peak no not the peak yes we're cutting the peak it's no big deal folks it's no big deal um yeah that's where we're at so as you guys know i'm trying to find something for that back wall and maybe the sidewall for uh, storage for different things so I can set up the shirts, whatever. Um, but since I've been searching this, now the ads will pop up on the side of my YouTube. When I'm looking at YouTube, when I'm looking at Facebook, that's what pops up is Office Furniture because that's what I'm looking at. And I, I stumbled upon this one at officefurniture.com. So I clicked on it. It was like, it looks like exactly what I want, except for it's almost $1,600. Like, I don't need that. Like, can I get that in, like, the, the budget version? But that's the type of thing I am looking for, for the office. That's the type of thing I'm looking. So, uh, if you want to build one and, and sell it to me, that'd be great. I just, oh, man, I cannot believe that price. But it's a buffet, buffet credenza. Office version. Oh, yeah. Here's the cheapest we got. $6.95. Oh. I might have to go to like... I just... Can't I find something decently priced? You know what I mean? Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. You'll never have the sacred stone. <laughs> oh, this you crazy mother... Finally on our last leg home. I've got some questions for you. I know you guys know more about this than I do. Now, I've been watching eBay for a NES Classic modded with, sorry, you had to listen to the radio, with all of the games modded on it. And when I was researching it previously too, I could get it for like 145. Now I can't find anything for under 150. So I don't want to go over 150 for whatever reason. That's just the amount I put in my mind that it's it's worth to me. Um, so I'm wondering if I should just keep watching eBay for one of the modded NES classics, or if I should look into having a Raspberry Pi done. As far as um, 
having someone mod it with a NES emulator and putting all the games on it. Does that is that uh, something that works easily with uh, the Bluetooth controllers? I believe you can get on Amazon. So I'm basically I'm wondering if I should keep looking for a NES Classic or if I should try and go the Raspberry Pi route. If I can get somebody else to mod it, put all the emulators and games on it. I do want the classic feeling controller. Um, so yeah, if that's something you know about, hit me up in the comments, hit me up in the email, gsquaredios at gmail.com. Let me know, let me know. I know you guys are smart in this area. All right, we're gonna head home. We gotta ship a yo-yo back to one drop. And then we have to maybe do some taxes. Maybe I'll do that tomorrow. We have to ship out the warthogs. And we have to send out some codes for some sponsorship contests. Oh, and one more, we gotta pay some there's like a fee when you sell at Pacific Northwest Regional. You have to pay to the convention center 15% of all your sales. So I have to pay that bill as well. That's what we're going to get into tonight. Fun stuff, I think. Oh, I should probably run with Ace too. It's it's decent outside now. It's 52. Maybe I'll take him outside on a run. Otherwise, he's just going to be bored and I'll run on the treadmill. Hey, hey, baby Ace. Hey. What's going on? Hey, hey. How was your day today? I think I'm going to take you to do your favorite thing. What's that? Are you happy about it? I'm not going to tell you. I'm not going to tell you what it is out loud yet. Not until I'm ready. I forget what we had to do first. Maybe that is the first thing we'll do. You can go outside first, you can go potties. So you don't have to take a dump on our run. Oh, I didn't mean to say that. I didn't mean to say it. I didn't mean to. I didn't mean to, okay? You can go outside. It's amazing. A week off. Oh, you lose so much progress. All we did, man, my, oh, that's hurting. All we did was a little two mile run, nine minute pace. It's okay, you can't make fun of me, he's tired too. You tired? Hey, I got something to say to you. You know something? It's National Puppy Day. I didn't even know. Didn't even get you a cake. Are you mad? I'm mad. I'm mad, everybody says National Puppy Day to Ace. Yeah, you're everybody's favorite. You're a vlog superstar. I can see your head growing as I tell you that. All right. We're rested, relaxed, had some jelly beans. I gotta find my peak, because today's the day it meets its maker. Um, so, I'm gonna go ahead and get ready to cut that, and it'll be up tomorrow. Today when you're watching this, 5 p.m. Eastern, go ahead and give it a look. If you wanna see what the original peak looks like, there it is. If you wanna see what it looks like cut in half, You will be able to do that tomorrow. Tomorrow, 5 p.m. Eastern on the YouTube channel. If you haven't seen the Let's Cut a Yo-Yo series, what it is is I take a yo-yo, I talk about it a little bit, and then I take a hacksaw and cut it in half and show you what the weight distribution is. Kind of let you behind the curtains, uh, behind the scenes, let you compare some yo-yos and why they play differently. Um, hey, just a learning experience for everybody. So I'm gonna go cut that in half and I'll be back shortly. All right, all right, let's turn that light off. Now that we're done with Let's Cut a Yo-Yo, I think I'm gonna try and cook up some dinner real quick. Probably just gonna have some oatmeal and berries, something quick and easy since I'm making it. Hey, bud. Whew. Actually, um, with just cutting that, that peak and comparing it to the peak too, I was highly surprised that the peak had a little bit more rim weight than I was expecting um, for, based on the, the play of the original. Um, I think it just has the lower spin times because it was a high wall yo-yo, so oh, the string rubbing on it, I guess, during your tricks. Uh, the peak too is really, really, really close. Biggest difference is the little step in, so it's not as much of a high wall. Right, bud? You just got your kick, didn't you, by Bruce? You did. I can tell it, look at your face. 
Look at you. You're worn out. You're covered in slobber. You're happy? All right, I'm gonna eat. Oh, that's nice. I can use you guys to look up here on the top shelf. There they are. How many is up there? Six, okay. Perfect. Nailed it. Now, you guys mostly know what this is. Now, this is another prototype out of Pelican. And if you might remember when I played it, I talked about how magical it was. Finally, it's been like five prototypes. And it was. Unfortunately, the first one I picked up was smooth, but 60% of them came back with some vibe. So I'm gonna ship them back to the machine shop. They're gonna let me know if they think the anodizing is actually taking, uh, making the bearing post smaller, um, which I think is happening because this anodizing that I had done does involve an acid bath. So I think the situation there is taking beating the metal up basically. And it's coming down with a smaller bearing post instead of a thicker bearing post like you would normally get from anodizing. And that's what's giving us a little bit of vibe. Hopefully that's the case, we can easily fix it and I can move more forward with this model unchanged. Um, Cause like I said, it's really, really nice. I like it a lot. But we're gonna go ahead and pack that up and ship that off. That's gonna be our last thing for the night. What do you think Ace? National Puppy Day? I might, might give him a a little something something tasty. I won't say the, the five letter T word because he knows what that is. Like I said, hopefully you guys are subscribed to the channel. Really do appreciate it. Make sure you leave a like. That's really what helps the channel grow quite a bit. Of course, comment. I'd love to answer your questions. Love to hear your thoughts on everything we did today. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you tomorrow. Same place.